Rick here, Saitench, and today, guys, I got for you a Filthy Ferroscan PS300. So, uh, let's always let's have a look what's in the box, and then we're gonna go from there. Ta -ra! I don't know if you see this, but uh, anyway, I'm gonna show you this. So, uh, there's a charger for the battery, as always should be. Uh, I'm gonna put that battery maybe on the charge later, a little bit outside. What else we have here? Uh, some tape. Tape probably just to teach this. If you want to be very accurate with the scanning, uh, you can put it on the element you're scanning. Uh, you got a nice scales here. I don't use it myself. And uh, we got some uh, crayons here for marking. Have a look. It's a box of uh, crayons, but I typically use the Tpex as well. So that will be all I think. Obviously, there will be manual, but manual you can go for, for the, on the Hilti website and you can download it. But then we got the scanner. That's how it looks. Uh, I'm gonna just tell you a few more things about it now. So let me take the box down and let's see. So that's our scanner here. Uh, it's a very good tool, guys. Uh, very expensive as well. We know Hilti does a great stuff, but uh, it's expensive. This one is around 20K. So very be careful where you use it. Uh, that's how you're gonna be checking the button. We're just gonna press here. I don't know if you can see. Yeah, this one is fully charged. So uh, we don't need to charge it really and uh, what else we always going to be checking if the instrument is calibrated whatever tools we use in we engineers must check if it's calibrated and if it's ready to go but uh, i'm going to just turn it on now and we'll see a couple of basic stuff about it obviously you can see the screen is quite big uh, everything is visible very simple tool really on the back you got actually five sensors so uh, when you're going to be analyzing data later you can actually peek between the sensors and uh, you can you can actually very accurately analyze the information that's the important thing to go through read through and agree so let's agree and let's have a look accept okay so that's what we got that's the main menu here uh, there's the three main options actually we're going to be using there's a quick scan Quick scan record and the uh, image scan, so that's going to be multi directional scanning. Uh, I'm going to be just covering in my videos these two. And uh, just to let you know, here you can see this wheel here. Uh, even if I'm rotating only one, you can see they all go in. They're going to be measuring the distance. So, wherever we're going to pick up, going to be actually recorded quite well, as you can see later. And uh, we're going to know exactly what distance here or where we found the uh, uh, rebar in this case. As I said, the quick scan is going to be actually the live reading. So if I go here, the first is going to be calibration required. So uh, as you can see here, hold the device into the air and away from any electromagnetic signals. So that's what I'm going to quickly do now. I'm going to just keep it away, press start. Yeah, that's it. So that's the screen I'm going to get now. I got the calibration done just now, but we're going to be calibrating from time to time. We had a lot of conversation with the Hilti. In and on so we should actually calibrate that from time to time to make sure it's okay this dashed line actually showing my tool here how we're going to be scanning but what i'm going to go now uh, i'm going to check the parameters here first for the quick scan and as you can see here we can choose the diameter of the bar overlay detection mode and the cover and uh, the very important things is uh, the bar diameter is it's a variable use for this tool to analyze data and to show us what cover is. And this is very important. And one of the main things is actually, uh, the bigger diameter is, uh, the more cover it's gonna show, which might be actually, which is actually a bit confusing for some people, but that's how the algorithm uh, is working. So the bigger diameter is, uh, the scanner gonna show you more cover and the smaller diameter is uh, gonna show you less cover. So remember, this is the sensors uh, based on the ferromagnetic uh, elements and, um, that's how it works so here we can choose actually the diameter and the range to cover so uh, if for instance we're going to be scanning to 20 mil bar or 25 millimeters bar as well we can just choose 20 mil plus 6 in this case is going to be all right uh, we were actually advised not to go more than 8 millimeters on the rate so in this case i'm going to press ok that's what i got uh, and as you can see here i got the information that welded mesh diameter outside of selected diameter range as there's no really welded mesh, so we're not going to be scanning the mesh uh, overlay. So in this case, uh, depending how we're going to be scanning, so if we got uneven surface, we can actually put a piece of ply, uh, whatever really, and then scanning through it, and we can actually capture it under the overlay. I'm going to leave it as zero in this case. 
and the detection mode auto. So uh, you can see here we got the choice here between auto, rebar, and mesh. If you know actually the diameter we're scanning, we got all the information. We are putting rebar for us, but uh, auto actually could cover everything. So what I got now uh, coming from the bottom this time, I got a cover set as auto, as I want actually the instrument show me the cover. I got detection mode rebar because I know well through what I'm going to be scanning. Uh, overlay is zero because uh, I want to scan just without any overlay on the element. And I got a bar diameter 20 millimeters plus minus six. In this case, it's going to show me 60 millimeters bar and 25 millimeters bars as well. So I'm going to press OK now uh, and I'm actually ready to go. So the next thing here uh, is visualization. So uh, I got the dimension in here. I'm going to leave it as it is. Show LED, LED and sound. So LED, that's the light here. It's going to be showing the red when I'm going to be crossing through the rebar and green if we are without the rebar. And uh, you're going to put it just LED or LED and sound. I like LED and uh, sound really as I like that beep when we're crossing through the rebar. I'm going to leave it as is. And uh, in the next video, I'm going to be showing how we're going to be scanning actually and we're going to be picking the data. So that will be the quick scan. Quick scan is very useful, especially when we're looking for the rebar. If you want to drill somewhere and we just want to make sure we're going to miss the rebar. We're not going to hit the rebar or any metal object when drilling. So quick scan is, is very useful now. I could actually go press this and uh, as you can see here, it's measuring. Uh, this is in millimeters now. And uh, if I would go over the rebar, that would show me straight away, but I can close it for now. And I'm going to go back now to the quick scan uh, and the uh, record. Quick scan record, that's going to be the option here. And this we're going to be using uh, later to analyze the data that's going to save actually our scan. And using the profis, uh, which I'm going to show you in the last video, uh, we're going to be getting the reports as well uh, and analyzing data in more detailed way. So uh, what I got here, I got direction here. So obviously we're going to be scanning our cover perpendicularly to the rebar. So uh, that's the case. We want to make sure, uh, look at the drawings, how the rebar is. And uh, obviously we've got the five sensors. So once you're going to go, uh, not really perpendicular, you're going to see it on the results later. But uh, that's the direction of the scanning. I'll typically going to be going like that. Uh, I'm going to leave it as OK indication here. So LED and sound, I can pick it now. That's what you've seen before. And uh, yeah, I got some tips here. Touch the top view area after scanning to return. Let's just, I'm going to go through all this in the next video when I'm going to be actually scanning. In today's video, that will be all, guys. I just want to give you the first impression of the scanner piece. It's a great tool, really. We're using this. We're going to be opening the projects in the next one. And uh, we're going to be actually scanning. And then I'm going to be analyzing data as well as show you everything, including the profit. So, guys, uh, thank you for watching and uh, see you in the next one.